Well, good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday, or wet day, as uh, some of the uh, people write on our pallets at work. Um, yeah. Two more days of this crap. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I got even less sleep last night because I was trying to catch up on vlogs and right as I was crawling into bed the kid decided to wake up and we brought him in by us and he acted like it was he just woke up from a nap so he was wide awake and climbing on us and kicking us and, and not laying down like a good boy and it took a good hour and a half for him to calm down and go back to sleep. Which means that I was at 1 o'clock, so probably about 2.30 that I got to fall asleep. And then woke up at 7 o'clock because I had to piss. And then I had to basically keep an eye on him because he kept crawling inching closer and closer to the edge of the bed. I don't know why I didn't just grab him and move him back to the middle, but maybe my brain was not working properly. But yeah, as I said last night in the closer of yesterday's vlog, I uh, ordered uh, the Make Fire F3 flight control board, acro board for uh, for my Tiny Whoop and the uh, Crazy Pony 1900 KV motors from uh, Multicopter Batteries or something, MulticopterRacingBatteries.com or whatever the guy uh, who is part of uh, Bladed Fury and, and uh, uh, part of the uh, FPV community in our area has... Uh, an online shopping store full of uh, of, uh, of uh, FPV quad parts and such batteries and and, and props and and uh, flight boards and even has some pre-built uh, tiny whoops uh, which I would have gotten I would have just said fuck it and, and kept the uh, the one I have stock just for, you know, maybe for beginners to fly, you know, try people that I'm trying to get into it a little bit, you know, here, fly this one once and, but there were 80 bucks and I literally spent almost every penny I had on the board and the, and the motors. And what got me to do it was A, I didn't think about it, I just did it. <laughs> so I didn't have time to talk myself out of it. And he was having a big sale. So I got the board and the motors for 38 bucks, which is really good. That's less than you can get just the board on Amazon. Um, so, yeah. And it looks like I might be able to just plug and play. Like, uh... It's got the power cord attached to it already. He says that it'll work with my lipos for the Inductrix. And the camera thing is soldered on and it looks like it's the same connector. So in theory, it looks like I could just plug it right in, but I have to make damn sure because I don't want to smoke the camera like my guru did. And uh, yeah, so I'm pumped about that. I'm ready to plow through this day and the next day and and, uh, and have a nice relaxing weekend because this last weekend was hectic and we did lots of running around and oh, I just need to recuperate <clears throat> and hopefully uh, my connectors will get here soon and uh, yeah I can get my uh, race quad up and running again Maybe I'll get to rip some packs. Problem free for once. I just want to go out and rip packs all day once. Without having some sort of catastrophic failure. 
and I want it to be the early May so my freaking blade ships and I want to get paid so I can order the King Kong G90T or whatever it is I want I want I want I need I need <laughs> but yeah that's it for now until next time one thing I forgot to mention yesterday on the way to work and it just happened again somebody was mowing their lawn and I love the smell of fresh cut grass it's uh it's official spring slash summer is upon us and that makes me very happy and that's it one more day yeah oh man it's amazing what taking a lunch can do I could work for like three more hours just because I ate some food relaxed for like uh, 15 20 minutes I'm nowhere near as beat down as I usually am after work maybe I should start taking lunch again and working later it's seven o'clock that's a lot later than I usually get out well not a lot later usually I'm out by like 536 but I had a lot of butter to put away and did a good sweep in and yeah so yeah in a couple of days um well my sim card or my sim card my sim cord for my transmitter will be here on Monday which means at least I can quiet the voices a little bit in my head by flying on in the sim the FPV rider um, I think I might download the uh, the DL, DRL sim too. Uh, they say it's not as realistic, but uh, the maps, there's a couple of maps that are awesome where you get to like just fly around in cities and shit and practice uh, dive bombing buildings and stuff. Um, yep, my tiny whoop parts should be here in a couple of days. It's only coming from Oshkosh, so, but the strap, the strap I ordered is coming from Oshkosh and, and then it went to Oak Creek and now and then it, supposedly it's coming back to Mayville, so. <laughs> um, in theory, uh, most of my stuff will be here this weekend. Uh, well, the SIM cord will be here on Monday. Uh, I believe I saw an email that said that at least one set of the XT60 connectors I ordered will be here on Saturday. I'm hoping that uh, the whoop parts will be here before the weekend too. I would really like to get that rocking this weekend. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, it was a good day at work. As good as a day at work can be. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get home and edit yesterday's vlog and, and have a couple of beers, I think. Like I do every day. <laughs> um, it's Survivor Night, though, so the wife's gonna want me to uh, be a little more hands on tonight. Because if, uh, she has to be, uh, tending to the kid and watching Survivor, she's gonna get a little cranky. She gave me a little special something something last night, so I kinda feel obligated. Or maybe I... I All right, well, uh, obviously my battery died. Uh, as I was saying, I should feel obligated to uh, do what I can to make her viewing pleasure for Survivor Night as easy as possible for her. And I am purposely blinding myself with the sun, so my face is evenly lit, just for y'all. And while I was rambling to the camera with the battery dead and not realizing that it wasn't recording anymore, uh, the dude that uh, helped me get my quad working again last time 
uh, called me and was like, what's up? How's your quad? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, it's grounded until I get my XT, XT60 connectors. And he's like, well, I mean, if, if you're for sure, get, if they're coming and whatnot, then I'll give you the one I have left, uh, my one and only one left. And uh, you can just give one back to me when uh, you get them. And I was like, deal. Whatever gets me in the air faster, I am down for. So, in theory, I should be airborne again uh, Thursday evening. Uh, and if there's not enough time Thursday evening, then definitely Friday morning. And I am excited about that. And hopefully there is nothing else wrong with my quad after that horrific crash. And yeah. And hopefully he'll maybe he can help me with my with my tiny wood parts in case uh shit. Forgot to ask about the high voltage batteries. Um I wanna know if uh if the cheap little charger I have can charge the high voltage batteries. Um Lose my train of thought. That's all I have, anyways. Um, yeah, if I don't check in later, I hope you all had a fantastic Wednesday and have a fantastic Thursday. Let's keep our fingers crossed for awesome weather this weekend. Cause Daddy wants to fly as much as he can. His mom doesn't work this weekend. I should be able to burn packs as fast as my charger can charge them. <laughs> and as and nice as the weather is. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see you later.